Hey guys, how you doing? It's Henry. And mowers and blowers. Good morning. We're back at this uh, Craftsman VTS. I've never had a VTS before. Uh, as you know, I took this tractor out of the backyard. It was a project pile. And my intention was to get the engine running, which we did, and then take this engine and put it on the other beige one, which is ready to go. All you need, all it needs is a better engine. That engine's a full of courage and it sucks. So then uh, as I was getting this running and taking it for a test drive, this seems like a very good tractor and all I need is a deck. Well, I have a deck from Nick from Bellport. However, just looking at it this morning, I crawled underneath and I looked, it's the wrong kind of deck. As you guys know, with uh, Craftsman's, there are the older Craftsman's, not the MTD kinds. There are two different types of um, mower decks for the Craftsman's. One that is the most uh, popular and um, most common are the two front mower deck hangers that attach to the front. And the other kind is the Husqvarna kind, which is one single rod that goes in the middle to the thing. And the hangers are a little bit different in the rear. Guess what? This is the one hanger kind, which I don't have a deck for. So I think the one that I intended to put this engine in is the one deck kind. I forget about doing an engine swap and merely just go and take that deck and put it on here and this is ready to go of course I'll swap out some wheels I think the wheels are better on that one the seat is better on that one and instead of trying to transfer this gravity fed type engine to a fuel pump type engine and trying to put a pulse dipstick in here and doing all kinds of modifications and and stuff to maybe get the fuel pump running this doesn't have a gas tank in the back you know what i mean so why go through all that trouble when i've got a running tractor right here that probably accommodates the same exact deck on the one that i wanted to sell and this hood is better too so uh that's what i'm probably gonna do i'm gonna go in the back try to get that started up it needs a battery it needs air in the tires and hopefully we'll be able to start that one up and get it to the front here where I'll just swap out some parts to deck, uh, wheels maybe, you see, and this thing will be ready to go. Oh no, look. The baby bird. I hate seeing that. Oh. Is that a, is that an egg too? So here's the tractor that is ready to sell with the exception of the engine. Now don't get me wrong, it does start and run, but it smokes a little because it's still leaking some oil from the cracks. Lots of cracks on this engine, so it's a shame because it does run. But I could probably sell the, you know, the good stuff, like the flywheel, the starter, crankshaft, connecting rod, all that other stuff. You know, it, it, the Kohler Courages, they do sell well. You know why? Because there's so many busted ones out there. People are gonna try to fix it, you know? Uh, I'm gonna pump up all four tires. This is an old battery I have. I don't remember where I got it, but it is good. So I'll put this battery in here, pump up the tires, get this to the front of the house.
So as you saw, after I put the battery in, pumped up the tires, shot some starter fluid in there. The same problem happens over and over again. That starter gets hung up when the battery is not strong enough, right? After testing it, because it's a fuel pump, you have to crank it a little bit. I didn't bring that. I should have brought that in the beginning to help it out. But even though it tries to start, uh, it just won't start. So, like I said, that engine's trash. And I was hoping that I could get it started and I could just drive it to the front. But I uh, disengaged the uh, freewheel thingamajig. And now I'm just going to roll it to the front. Uh, so that I could, that seat's a good seat, it's a good wheels, the deck, put it on that one, and then this one I'll sell as parts. just took a minute to have a heart attack uh, because even though it's on the roll mode it's still not free rolling there's some resistance still and I didn't want to go this way because I would have to run over my new grass which I didn't want to do it's still growing so uh, I'm gonna swap the seats that seat sucks this seat is good just gonna take the whole bracket off 9 16th over here swap them reconnect the seat safety switch because this is a uh, fuel tank in the back, it's fuel pump type power, so I don't want to mess with that, especially having to convert that engine to a fuel pump thing. I'd have to find a dipstick that had the uh, pulse output on, which I have, but you know, I just fuel pumps are always a problem, seriously. You know, uh, gravity fed it's where it's at. So I'm going to swap the seats. And then see what else I need to swap over.
as you saw from time lapse move the seats and move the deck you know the deck is really easy to move surprisingly you know uh, so i think everything's connected right i'm not sure <laughs> oh also the uh ignition switch this one was missing a tab so the, the module was loose made sure it was exactly the same swapped it now this is a brand new switch let's hope i don't fry anything Safety switch issue. So there we go. Uh, so those wheels over here are 20s. They're nice wheels. Since I'm gonna pr probably just junk this, I'm gonna take these 20s and put them on these, uh, and put the 18s back on here.
So I swapped the big 20s onto the one that I want to sell, got the deck on there, and then I figured, hey, my Murray had some really yucky tires on there, so I took the front two of this junky one and put the Murray ones back on there. So now my Murray has some decent tread. Hey. Well, I've just about had enough playing uh, Indy 500 uh, pit stop tire changer. But uh, now we got one working mower that's ready to sell. Well, not exactly ready. Uh, do need to power wash it and then do the lights. That's what I'll do. I'll do the lights. All right. Some multimetering, some figuring out where the current is not finding the current in the main one trying to figure out why enough of that i tapped into the fuel solenoid power source connected a, a wire to the switch and bing! Uh -oh. bing! there you go got headlights when you need it gonna have to clean the interior of those lenses for sure when I decide to uh, power wash this thing so it's got a separate switch for the lights when the power is on sweet so now we got a deck we've got some big 20 inch wheels uh, new seat right put the new seat on there this thing runs great and this one is probably ready to sell after I do a little bit of touch-up paint to it and uh, I don't have any more black paint uh, I'm gonna go buy some paint eventually and then power wash it and then take some pictures and list this one for sale uh, eventually gonna have to take this engine out or just take the flywheel and the innards to sell on eBay sell the rest of this thing as junk 50 bucks I don't think anybody would want it but uh, then throw it out. I have to mow the lawn too, damn it. And the uh, Murray, it's got some fr newer front wheels. Gonna work on getting the uh, flux core wire installed onto my welder again and continue with the patch job on the deck and then eventually paint that deck, put it on here and try to sell this. So, did a lot of shit today. It's a beautiful day, good day to do shit, you know? Thanks a lot for joining me on today's Making One Tractor Out of Two. We'll see you guys next time on Mowers and Blowers. See you guys next time on Mowers and Blowers. Hey, if you guys enjoyed the video, remember to give me a like. Also, comment below. Subscribe. Remember, it doesn't cost anything to subscribe. It's free, right? Also, hit that little bell. That way you'll get post notifications whenever there's a new video and you won't miss out on any of them. Remember to follow my Instagram and Facebook, as well as if you'd like to donate a dollar or two, paypal.me slash mowersandblowers. Really appreciate all the support. Also, to keep the videos coming every day, support the channel. Bye.